Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody, two people asked different questions. One is, I, I mentioned yesterday I could make a new color by blending two colors. So if we go to effects and blend, blend it 200 times, then go to object, break the blend apart, go to object and ungroup them. There's a color in there we could use. It's different than anything we have on the board. And then somebody asked that, you know, a lot of graphic people have a lot more color colors. I mean, way more than I would ever use because I'm a laser engraver. But if you go to right here to this arrow and go to rows and sit on three, it looks like that's all your colors in your RGB. They might even have, you know, two, two sets of, uh, you know, colors. Uh, let's go to palettes and let's see how we would go to that. Well, let's go up here to windows, color palettes, palettes, and then open CMYK and look what, look at the colors you have now. As a laser engraver, we don't use CMYK, so we're going to just close that down. Just go to uh, close. Now, look at all these colors. We do have some oranges and stuff, but we don't have this orange. We don't have this orange. And if you use it a lot and you want to bring it in, just go over there to your color palette, and you can see the plus sign. It's going to put it right below the red. That's going to be there if you save it as default and always be there. So we can, uh, let's just delete that one, and let's take this one. Let's draw a, a box but let's use that color. So there's that color. And if you like that color, like almost like the University of Texas burnt orange, and you can still add to that color by holding down the shift key and adding a red, make it a little darker, a little lighter. But the other thing that you can do, and a lot of people don't realize it's there, if we take a rectangle I've got it set on filling in with red now, which I don't ever like, but if you hover over the red and hold down your left mouse button, you get all these shades. So we want like this maroon, that's inside the red, it's already there. You know, just hover over it, hold down the left mouse button, and let's get this really light color. So those are colors that are already in Corel, they actually have a number. You know, if you look, that's red is 255. If we pick this one and see what the color is, you know, I don't know if there is a way. The new color we made is uh, R255G137 and uh, B0. But going back to this, I don't think there's a way it won't tell you until you until you press that color. And then you'd actually have to put it in your deal. And like I said before, I would go to tools and save it as default. That way that color will always be there. Just like on a, let's go with a purple. And if you use this purple a lot, hover over it. Well, let's make a, let's make it, you have to have something click for it to put it in. Let's go here, hold down. And let's get this really light purple. Now I would left click or right click no color, no outline. And then all you do is if you want that color, just take it over your color palette and wait till it gives you the plus sign. And we're going to put it between those two. That color, and, and that pretty much matches some other colors that are already in there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.